गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन लास्ट क्लास वी हैड डन एग्जामिशन अंडर दी हेड कैपिटल गेन्स सो वी डिड फिफ्टी फोर इन इन दैट केस वी सेल वन रेसिडेंशियल हाउस एंड परचेज अनदर रेसिडेंशियल हाउस एंड इफ द कैपिटल गेन डज नॉट एक्सिस टू करोर देन यू कैन परचेज टू रेसिडेंशियल हाउस द टाइम लिमिट इज आदर वन ईयर बिफोर द ट्रांसफर और विद इन टू ईयर फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ ट्रांसफर और विद इन थ्री ईयर यू नीड टू कंस्ट्रक्ट देन एग्रीकल्चरल लैंड इन अर्बन एरिया यू सोल्ड एंड यू बॉट एग्रीकल्चरल लैंड इन अर्बन और रूरल एरिया दैट्स एग्जामिशन अंडर सेक्शन फिफ्टी फोर बी एंड देन फिफ्टी फोर ई सी वॉज एनी लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल एसेट बींग लैंड बिल्डिंग ऑफ बोथ एंड विद इन सिक्स मंथ्स यू हैव इन्वेस्टेड आदर इन एन एच ए आई और रूरल इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन बॉन्ड सो यू गेट एक्जामिशन अप टू मैक्सिमम फिफ्टी लैक्स सो लेट एस यू फ्यू क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दैट एक्जामिशन विच यू हैव डन इन द लास्ट सेशन एंड देन अकॉर्डिंगली वी विल मूव अहेड सो क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन परचेज अ रेसिडेंशियल हाउस ऑन जुलाई ट्वेंटी वन डिड सम एडिशन दिस इज कॉस्ट ऑफ इंप्रूवमेंट सोल्ड इन एप्रिल ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड वॉट एवर वैल्यू ही हैज गॉट ही हैज स्पेंट पायलैक टू परचेज अनदर रेसिडेंशियल हाउस नाउ let me just give you a one brief in case of exemption under section 54 uh the asset has to be a uh, long term capital asset then only you get exemption see it's written here clearly long term capital asset right then only you will get exemption okay क्वेश्चन नाइनटीन फर्स्ट विल कैलकुलेट पीरियड ऑफ होल्डिंग दैट इज जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन टू अप्रिल ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी एट जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन टू अप्रिल ट्वेंटी थ्री this is short term capital asset right so computation of stcg we have fvc full value of consideration is 20 lakh less cost of acquisition there is no indexation because it is short term
कॉस्ट ऑफ इंप्रूवमेंट इज टू लैख This is short term capital gain. Exemption under section फिफ्टी फोर नॉट अवेलेबल सो वी गेट टैक्सेबल एस टी सी जी Exemption under section 54 is available only in respect of long term capital asset. This is what I showed you just a few minutes back. ओके वेरी सिंपल इन केस ऑफ शॉर्ट टर्म लेस देन ट्वेंटी फोर मंथ्स नो इंडेक्सेशन नो एग्जेम्शन अंडर सेक्शन फिफ्टी फोर नो फिफ्टी फोर ईसी ऑल्सो ओके चलो क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सेज देर इज अ लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल गेन ऑफ सेवेंटी फाइव लैक अराइजिंग फ्रॉम ट्रांसफर ऑफ बिल्डिंग विल बी एग्जेम फ्रॉम टैक्स इफ सच कैपिटल गेन इज इन्वेस्टेड इन दॉन्ड रिडीमेबल सी एन एच ए आई इज अ बॉन्ड विच इज रिडीमेबल आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स इफ यू रिडीम इट विद इन फाइव इयर्स दैन अमाउंट एक्सेप्टेड अर्लियर विल बी टैक्सेबल दैट इज ओके so now the point is that maximum uh, you get 50 lakhs ka exemption not 75 lakh so long term is okay 54 is is long term building is also okay nature of asset is also okay uh, type of capital asset is also okay but amount has to be restricted to up to maximum of 50 lakh provided it is uh, invested within 6 months from the date of transfer so maximum exemption equals to rupees 50 lakhs provided the investment is made within 6 months date of transfer okay चलिए लेट एस मूव अहेड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई हैव परचेज अ लैंड एट अ कॉस्ट ऑफ थर्टी फाइव लैक इन द फाइनेंशियल ईयर टू थाउजेंड फोर फाइव नो प्रॉब्लम एंड इट वॉज कैपिटल एसेट टिल ट्वेंटी एथ मार्च ट्वेंटी थ्री and from uh, 21st of march i became a real estate dealer so this it became my stock in trade 
and fair market value on that date was uh, 210 lakh so i told you in case of conversion of capital asset into stock in trade uh, capital gain will be chargeable to tax in the year in which a business asset is sold means such stock in trade is sold so in this land i have constructed 15 flats of equal size cost of uh, construction of each flat is 10 lakh construction got completed in feb no problem i have sold it uh, for 30 lakhs each flat in march 24 five flats were still in stock and trade okay now Question 21. This is a case of conversion of capital asset into stock in trade. Right? So, mm, so it is. Uh, capital asset from the date of uh, purchased till the date of conversion into stock in trade right capital gain will be chargeable to tax when converted stock in trade is sold that is previous year 2023-24 see land is not sold but on that building is constructed so when building is sold land is also sold along with that right full value of consideration for the purpose of capital gain will be fair market value on the date of conversion only two-third of the capital asset will be chargeable to tax full stock in trade is not sold only two third of the uh, building is sold means out of 15 10 flat is sold that comes to two third right so these are the points you need to remember and uh, when i talk about business income it will be from the date of conversion till the date of sale of stock in trade business income will be chargeable to tax when converted stock in trade is sold 
that is previous year 23 24 march 24 cost of stock in trade will be the fair market value on the date of conversion only two third of the stock in trade will be chargeable to tax so these things you need to note so first i will tell you how to calculate capital gain so period of holding equals to 2045 to 28th March 23. This is the year of transfer. However, capital gain will be paid when? Capital gain tax in the year in which stock in trade is sold. Long term capital asset. Previous at two zero two three dash two four. Full value of consideration equals to fair market value on the date of conversion. Only two third, right? So we have uh, two hundred and ten lakhs into two by three. Indexation will be done. Cost of acquisition into CII of the year 2022-23 by CII of 0405. So, 35 lakh is the land cost. Thirty-five into twenty-two twenty-three is three thirty-one. Tax we will pay in twenty-three twenty-four, but indexation will be up to the date of conversion, that is twenty-two twenty-three by zero four zero five. That is 113 and don't forget to take 2 by 3, 2 third.
equal to 35 into 331 by 113 into 2 by 3. This is LTCG. Now, 50 lakhs I have invested in NHAI. Right? and 50 lakhs in rural electrification bond. Now, you need to note one thing. This time limit within one year, within two year, uh, and uh, within uh, six months, usually it is from the date of transfer. But, in case of conversion, it will be 6 months from the date stock in trade is sold. In case of uh, insurance claim, From the date claim is received, and in case of In all these three cases, year of transfer is early, but capital gain is taxable when the consideration is received, right? So, you need to note one thing, that time limit is from the year of taxability. So, consideration is received in March 24, from there within 6 months, both the investments are qualified, but subject to maximum. 50 lakh. It is 54 EC maximum 50 lakhs.
the cost of improvement the cost of constructing building will not come because that that has occurred after it has been converted into stock in trade so that is purely business Excess of uh, fair market value up to sale proceeds. less cost of stock in trade is 210 into 2 by 3 cost of construction 10 into 10 lakhs This is very simple. Only only two third, ten flats, and fifty four ECs only for capital gain, not for business income. Now, when these five flats, it will be sold off. Then again, it will be capital gain and that business income split. Please have a look.
now we will do section 54 f This is a technical problem, just hang on. Okay. Exemption under section 54F any long term capital asset other than land and building. and purchase of residential house one year two year, three year, time limit is same, time limit is same as per section 54, oh, in case of 54 it was like, if you purchase one capital, uh, if, 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 
if 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 you sell residential house you buy another residential house you get exemption but out here you have if you are selling any other asset other than residential house obviously it has to be long term and you purchase residential house suppose you are selling jewelry and you are buying a house so that you are going to get exemption under section 54f now there is one condition sac should not have more than one house other than the new house on the date of transfer you should not have uh, more than one house other than the new one suppose i purchased a new house one year before so on the date of selling um, any other asset i am having this new house on which i am going to claim exemption right apart from this you can have only one old house you cannot have two old house right for claiming 54 there is no such requirement but in case of 54f when you are selling any long term capital asset other than uh, land and building and you are buying residential house so in that case uh, you can get exemption time limit is same right but over here the amount of exemption is bit different what is the amount of exemption exemption equals to gross ltcg into cost of the new house by net sale consideration now if the new house there are some restrictions that needs to be followed conditions unutilized amount in capital gain account scheme after expiry of 3 years it will be taxable that is equals to unutilized amount into ltcg by net sale consideration
right number 2 if the new house purchased on which exemption is claimed is sold within 3 years then amount exempted earlier will be taxable as ltcg in the year of transfer like in case of 54 what used to happen the whatever whatever exemption you got it will be reduced from the cost of the new house but out here new house ka capital gain will be calculated separately and uh, this exemption which you got earlier will be taxable as ltcg separately but over there it was i was reducing the cost of the new house but here the exemption will get straight away taxable Taxability of exemption granted will also arise if the SSC purchases or constructs another residential house within the time limit because you can only get one new house in case of 54 there is no restriction on number of old houses you have further when you purchase new, you can go for maximum 2 if the gain is up to 2 crore. Right? And in case of section 54, 2 points. On the date of transfer, you cannot have one more than one old house. Further, new also you cannot purchase more than one. If you do such activity, then whatever exemption you got earlier, that will be taxable. Okay, so let us do one problem related to this. Example. Jewelry purchased by X for rupees ten lakhs on first August two thousand four. Sold the asset. Four rupees sixty one lakh on first web two zero two four. Brokerage on sale. Rupees one lakh on first May two 
टू जीरो टू फोर परचेज रेसिडेंशियल हाउस फॉर रुपीज फोर्टी लैख कैलकुलेट सी जी सो नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हैव टू सी वेदर इट इज लॉन्ग टर्म और शॉर्ट टर्म right if i sell house buy house 54 if i sell any other asset other than house buy house that's 54f and in case of 54 full cost of the new house you get exemption but out here proportionate so first of all period of holding 1st august 2004 to 1st feb 2024 more than 20 uh, in case of jewelry we see 36 months sorry more than 36 months so we have long term capital asset no problem so now we have computation of ltcg full value of consideration is this is net sale consideration i c o a so we have purchased this for how much ten lakhs Three forty-eight by two thousand four five four five indexation. One one three. less exemption under section 54f so cost of the new house is 40 lakh into 2920 Three five four by sixty lakh. 
provisions are okay within two years from the date of transfer. May uh, Feb 24 we have sold. May 24 we purchase 40 lakhs. So LTCG into cost of the new house divided by net sale consideration. To minus. Mm -hmm. Suppose on first October twenty four, X purchases another residential house. So previous year two zero two four dash two five. This is previous year two zero two three dash two four. So we have taxable LTCG. One nine four. Six nine zero three. Suppose New house sold for forty two lakhs. So again, previous year two zero two four dash two five. This will be there plus capital gain on sale of new house. POH short term capital asset. May you purchased November you are selling it off. So straight away STCG equals to forty two lakh minus forty lakh. This is very important. Whatever exemption was granted, it will be taxable if these two conditions are violated. Plus,
purchase this another new house and here sold a new house within three years okay so please 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 watch these videos again and again if you want to have a better clarity because these are very easy the only you need to uh, remember are the bit of provisions here and there over there in 54 if you sell the new house within three year the cost is reduced with the exempted earlier so automatically you will pay high capital gain but out here this capital gain is taxable separately exempted amount and new house capital gain will be calculated normally right thank you so much for today bye bye take care